now, let's continue. Let's play not Final Fantasy 2 and fun time. Great, a place for the feed off screen. I feel sorry for Evelyn. At least the other place got the feed on screen. He's so mad he's using the theme of a bunch of dolls. And of course, he just had the blood out. Because Gwen, all you would have to really do is turn around, he would have seen you anyway. It's not like you were hiding. He really go a few steps down screen that map can is hiding. But here? No. The heck, Ruba can't would have probably seen us too. Make sure Luga was in front of him, but whatever. And it's fun time. Okay, we're gonna attack the robots. Correctly, yeah, Thunderclaw is what you want to use. And let's go with Virus. Both of them. That was fast. Yeah, I get a friend I didn't mean to have cure free at this point. Eventually, virus starts to become really his main method of attack, almost like a main weapon to use in battle. And who's making the explosion? Well, that's good, and kill him. like a monster. The whole party gets poisoned. But it should be fine. Well, it's not going to do that much, to be honest. Plus, the amount of damage he'll probably do, I might as well be killing anyway. What was that gas supposed to do? It's kind of funny how in this game sometimes your characters will be targeted by somebody yet nobody gets hit. I guess they might have been targeting a dead person, or it could be that it just finally fails. Keep using virus. Yeah, I should probably 
No, I don't need to. Now I run fast. So much for that. And he explodes. Just use kryptonite. Nothing up that way to worry about. And of course, we're about to reach some of the more questionable scenes of the game. Space to be a case of going backwards and return to a previous room. And we're gonna run like mad. And we're gonna fail to run. Um, finally. We have time for battles right now. that they could hear me. I said I'm lazy. And of course... That's where the cans are. Wow, they actually have different colored cloaks. Who knew? They turn out to be dark imps. That's fun. And of course, we're doomed. All the drawers are doomed. But Yane has a plan. And I'd like to know what he's actually doing in there. I mean, they already damaged the controls and stuff. Seriously. Is he using his chi or some mystical power? Or what? I mean, just being in that room isn't going to prevent the cans from stopping. I don't know. It seems kind of broad to me, but since it happened off screen, it's obvious he must have been doing everything right. In any case, I'm going to get to the bottom of the tower, so hold on a second. Alright then, let's continue. Couldn't resist one more battle, could you? Aren't we? 
Corvette must have a very good cell phone. Jeez, is there anything you can't do? And Sid's back. That's gonna be another party member. Especially after Yang issue. For the Super Ken, he did something off screen. We had no idea what the heck it was. And they're still after us. Wouldn't it be great if we had weapons we could use to fight against them? No. This part I never care for. Why the heck does he need to do this? I mean, could he have thrown out the explosion and let them blow up on their own? Or they instantly explode the second you press the button? Even so, this scene just doesn't work for me. It's probably the most annoying sacrifice scene in the game. Just meh. And while it does save you from being chased, it doesn't really do much good in the long run. And of course, we get to go to Baron. Which is this way. Um, yeah. Baron have for store for us. We'll find out next time. So bye for now. <laughs>